public forum topic for NSDA Nationals 2015 is going to be resolved the benefits of First Amendment protection of anonymous speech outweigh the harms. This isn't a topic that I've put that much into because it's not a topic that I'll be judging or coaching at Nationals. I'm going to be over at the world's debate side of things, but at the same time going to try and stop by public forum land and check on teams when I can. Some people have asked me for my thoughts on the topic though, and frankly I think that a lot of the analyses and a lot of the purchase briefs are going in the same kind of wrong directions. So here's just a fairly quick rundown of the topic. First off, you probably want to be pro. This is a topic that if somebody is willing to come and judge debates, if somebody is interested in being a member of this community, they probably value free speech to start with to some extent. And there's probably going to be a lot of implicit and explicit biases in that direction. Second off, the vast majority of literature tends to conclude pro Third off, a lot of the problems that people are presenting with the pro side are actually not problems with First Amendment protection so much as a misunderstanding of what that actually covers. And fourth off, there's just really not too much weighing that Khan can do. If they want to keep it about literal speech, then they're going to have drawbacks with chilling effect. If they want to make it about other things that are considered speech under First Amendment, then they're going to get outweighed big time, even if they try to make it a throwback to the Citizens United topic. So really, if you get to be pro, memorize these four phrases, figure out which one of them applies best to which con argument, and you should be golden for the vast majority of your rounds. First, because of how free speech is harmful, it's already not protected under the First Amendment whether or not it's anonymous. Second, the First Amendment only protects the government from restricting your speech. Nobody's obligated to hear your speech or give you a platform for it online or offline. Third, if people have the right to say it, they should have the right to say it anonymously too. Unpopular opinions need to be protected from a chilling effect, and the Supreme Court has agreed with this. Fourth, voting is speech that's protected under the First Amendment. The benefits of anonymous voting outweigh the harms of free speech. And pretty much those four arguments will carry a pro team pretty far. The trick becomes finding a way to win on con. Usually wins on con on this topic are going to come from the pro team misinterpreting what the topic are about, so what the topic is about, and then the other team not correcting them on it and simply allowing that misconception to be what gets debated instead. Other than that, this is one of those topics that prep for is going to be a little bit about looking some case law, a little bit about thinking about what the First Amendment actually does and doesn't cover, a little bit about reading through majority opinions, dissents, and amicus briefs. But frankly, this is one of those topics that being good at coin flipping is probably going to carry you pretty far in as long as you can avoid making big mistakes when you are pro. I'm not convinced that speaking second really gives Khan too much of a shot at coming back on this, and I'll try and explore why in a longer one that should be out within the next 24 hours, but really for now, the important things to know about this topic are flip the coin yourself if possible, if the other team wants to flip the coin, try to get the judge to flip the coin, don't let the same person flip and call the coin, if they're going to flip the coin, make sure that you know whether they're going to turn it over after it lands in their arm or not, and all the other standard cheap coin flipping tricks that are occasionally keys to victory on topics where the better debaters are not necessarily going to prevail. Stay tuned for the longer, less angry version.